when you become a member of Fit Bikini Models Extravaganza, you actually receive a keyring, and then in your registration pack, you receive the Royal Blue State Fit Bikini Model Extravaganza Bikini. So you actually get this in every state that you enter. It's Royal Blue only because for the actual international, we have a pink bikini. There you go, Claire. Thank you. Now, with our major sponsors, who are Nutrition Warehouse, they supply us with an amazing gym bag. And inside the gym bag is a shaker. Here's the actual gym bag. We also have a great gym towel. Oh, perfect. Our main sponsor for our tanning is Tan by Lucy Lane. They are the Australian tanning company that does all our fabulous tans for the Fit Bikini Model Extravaganza. So you actually receive a bronzing cream and a really cute Lucy Lane singlet. And the ladies in Perth have been very spoiled. They're actually going to be receiving an Evolution MMA Fitness pass for a month to their gym. So ladies, your next extravaganza is in Melbourne. So get online at www.fitbikinimodelextravaganza.com. Yana, what are you looking for at the casting today? I'm um, looking um, to see someone who is um, fit and healthy, um, someone who's got a uh, great shape, um, but I'm also looking for someone who's um, not slim. Uh, I'd like to see someone who exercises, who leads an active lifestyle, um, which will hopefully show through. How are you feeling today with all these fit bodies surrounding you? I feel great. I think it's great that there are so many girls um, doing this competition and so many girls getting into fitness now. What are you looking for exactly today? What I'm looking for today is um, basically a girl that can really light up the stage and really connect with um, the audience but also someone that is just like a picture of health and well-being. Like, yeah, so someone that's definitely got a bit of a spark to them and someone that can also really represent um, Perth over um, in um, the Gold Coast Yeah, at the finals. So. Okay. And how are you feeling with all these fit bodies surrounding you today? Um, yeah, I actually don't mind. I, I can admire, you know, a beautiful body. Yeah. So I'm actually really privileged and honoured to be here and I'm just going to, yeah, soak it all up. It's going to be amazing. I'm here with Dana, founder of Fit Bikini Model Extravaganza and a bikini designer. How are you feeling about today? I'm very excited about today because it gives the girls a chance to be able to rock the stage, um, looking fit, wearing one of my bikinis as well, as well as being able to let women know what it's all about to be fit and healthy as well. And what exactly are you looking for today? Well, I keep saying this, I think, in every single interview that I've done so far, that we're looking for a woman that can portray the fit bikini model look. So we want someone that's healthy, someone that um, enjoys what they do in regards to training, eating well, and it's all about giving great advice to other women that can achieve this goal. And how are you feeling with all these fit bodies surrounding you? I'm around fit bikini bodies every single day, <laughs> but I love it because it's great to see how girls shine when they actually walk up on stage and they, they're very proud of what they do and we're very proud of what they do too, so that's why the fit bikini model extravaganza has come about. Great, and do, is there any exciting competitions coming up for you or any... My days are over lovely, I just hold the comps now, so if anything I'm just looking forward to all the new comps coming up for Phoebe Kenny Model Extravaganza throughout the year. So the next one that we're doing is in Melbourne, so that will be the next big one coming up soon. I'm here with Renee, she's an Australian and international published fitness model. What exactly are you looking for today? Today I'm looking for somebody who is the overall package, so most importantly not just a bikini model but a fit bikini model, someone who lives and breathes fitness. Um, they've got a good attitude, good personality, good spark about them and they just shine on stage.
after herself, who trains, who eats well, who actually eats as well. Um, drinks water, drinks juice, you know, someone that really does look after their body. And we're looking for um, basically a girl that will promote the the actual fit bikini model extravaganza for next year because it's, at, it's growing very quickly internationally. We actually have a, a show in Canada in August. So it's already growing rapid later because we try and concentrate on giving every girl the opportunity to shine up on stage. So we're about quality, not quantity. And um, it's also about getting to know the girls as well, why they're up there shining on stage and, and all the hard work that they've done to be able to get up here. To Bikini Models Inc TV. My name is Claire Monra and I'm hosting the Perth State Fit Bikini Model Extravaganza at the Jindalup Resort. We have 15 girls registered today to be a part of the extravaganza, hoping to qualify for the International Fit Bikini Model Extravaganza on the Gold Coast. The top five qualify and the top three win an airfare one way to compete in the international final for their chance to represent Australia in Las Vegas in 2015. Our amazing major sponsors are Nutrition Warehouse. They will be giving the top five a sponsorship pack and all girls registered will receive a Nutrition Warehouse gym pack. <laughs> Dana Karma Bikinis, the bikini sponsor, dressing all the fit bikini models today. And the tan by Lucy Lane is the exclusive tanning product used for all the fit bikini model extravaganzas throughout Australia. With more exciting news, the Fit Bikini Models that place with the most points in each state will have an invitation to be a part of the Fit Bikini Model calendar in October. The first round is the Bikini Round and the second round is the Cocktail Dress Round. Let the Fit Bikini Model extravaganza begin. I'm here with our first contestant, Elisa. How are you feeling about today? Um, a bit nervous, but yeah, I'm excited. I feel really good, I think. Have you done anything like this before? Uh, not like this, but I do fitness modelling, so I've done like INBA and all those kind of competitions, so yeah, it's a bit different too. And how do you think you'll go today? Um, hopefully well, I'm not sure. Hopefully I'll do good. Everyone looks really good, so it'll be a competition, but yeah, hopefully good. And here's our next contestant, number two, Marina. How are you feeling about today? I'm feeling very good, Claire. Just my last comp for the season, so finishing it off. And why did you enter the extravaganza? Um, I like the fact that Dana promotes a really healthy everyday girl and I love her bikinis and I just thought it's, I watched some of her videos from the first comp she ever did and I just thought it's a really awesome atmosphere and I wanted to be part of it. I'm here with our next contestant Angel. How do you think you'll go today? Um, I think I'll go reasonably well. It's a big competition with other, all the other girls so hopefully I do okay. And why did you enter this extravaganza? Um, because I feel like I am enjoying bikini modelling like I did NABBA a few weekends ago. So I'm just enjoying it and confidence boost and yeah. Do you think you fit the criteria of the fit model bikini? Um, yeah, I had a read of it and I think I feel like yes I can because I do want to motivate others and I think that's what it's what the criteria and they want it out of the girls. I'm here with our next contestant, Natasha. How do you think you will go today? I'm um, feeling pretty confident. Um, I've, this is the leanest I've actually got doing it um, since I started last year. So um, I'm feeling pretty good and I'm um, quite excited. So, yeah. That's great. Have you done any competitions like this? Um, not, not like Dana Carmont's. Um, I've done competitions with um, different federations, but um, yeah, this will be my first Dana Carmont kind of set up thing, so it's pretty cool. I'm here with our next contestant, Jessica. How are you feeling about today? Yeah, really good, thank you. I'm a bit excited, actually, yeah. Have you done any competitions like this before? Uh, not like this. I did the IMBA two weeks ago, um, and that was my first comp. I really enjoyed it. Great. Are you competing any time soon with any other competitions as well as today? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think um, I just wanted to focus on the IMBA and focus on today. Um, you know, I'm doing the best I can today and take it from there. And how do you think you'll go today? Uh, hopefully good. I think I'm going to have fun anyway. Um, so to me it doesn't really matter as long as I have a good time. Yeah, well, having fun is the main part and we'll see you shortly on the catwalk. Thank you. 
I'm here with another contestant, Morgan. How are you feeling about today? Really excited and enthusiastic to come out and meet all the girls and meet Dana and just do my thing and have some fun. Yeah. Um, why did you enter the extravaganza? Well, I'm a really fun-loving person and I'm really into health and fitness and I think um, doing something like representing Dana Carmont Bikinis would be something that I'm aspiring to do and um, I really want to make um, a living out of... Or, or, a hobby out of um, getting into a bikini, looking great and having some fun with some great girls. I'm here with another contestant, Louise. How are you feeling about today? Very excited. A little bit nervous, but I'm very excited. Have you done anything like this before? No, I haven't. This is my first time, so I'm really looking forward to it. How do you think you'll go today? Hopefully well, but either way, I'm just happy just to be here and just have a go. Um, well, we'll see you shortly on the catwalk. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm here with our next contestant, Bella. How are you feeling about today? Uh, excited. Yeah, a great bunch of girls. Yeah. Have you done anything like this before? Uh, not so much like this, but I do do INBA. Yeah, yeah. and um, how do you think you go today at the extravaganza? Um, to be honest, yeah, I, I'm not sure. There's some beautiful girls out there, great healthy fit physiques, so um, yeah, it could be anybody's. Yeah, well, everyone looks great, and we'll see you on the catwalk shortly. All right, thank you. I'm here with another contestant, Elise. How are you feeling about today? Really excited. I just can't wait to get up there and do it. <laughs> Have you done anything like this before? Uh, not really like this. I did um, INBA a couple of weeks ago, but that's all fitness comps. So this is a bit different, a little yeah. bit more pageanty. <laughs> and how do you think you go today? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm just up here to have fun and just do my best, I guess. So. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, and we'll see you starting your stuff soon. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm here with another contestant, Giselle. Uh, how are you feeling about today? Yeah, really good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying everything. Everything's set up really well, and it's really organized, so it makes you feel better. Have you traveled far for this competition? Yep, I've come all the way from Sydney, because I actually missed the one in Sydney, so I decided to come to Perth, and I've never been here before, so I really wanted to come see it, so I love it. And how do you think you'll go today? Um, I hope well. I think I fit the criteria, so hopefully I've, I like to motivate other women and try and be a role model for other women, so hopefully I go well. I'm here with another contestant, Ellen. How are you feeling about today? Uh, I'm okay. A bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Have you done anything like this before? Um, Sim, I was in the IMBA two weeks ago, so that was a good opportunity to start getting into the industry. <laughs> and how do you think you'll go today? Um, I'm not sure, who knows? I'm um, looking forward to it, it's a competition. You know, all the girls have amazing bodies, amazing personalities, so it'll be good to see what happens. <laughs> I'm here with another contestant, Cassie. How are you feeling about today? Yes, I'm feeling good, a bit nervous, but um, it's all very exciting, all the girls see very nice, and yeah, I'm excited for it just to get started. Have you done anything like this before? Only once before, I was in the IMBA, and that was a couple of weeks ago, so this is my second. Yep. I'm here with Gemma, and she's another contestant for today. How are you feeling about the competition today? Uh, I'm feeling pretty all right, I think. Yeah, a little bit nervous, but excited at the same time. Yeah. Have you done anything like this before? Um, a fortnight ago, I entered NABBA, so, and that was my first competition, so, yeah. Yeah, and how do you think you'll go today? Um, I think I should go okay. Um, all the girls are pretty nice, pretty amazing, getting along with everyone, so it's good. I'm here with another contestant, Stacey. How are you feeling about today? Uh, really good, really good, really uh, excited. Yeah. Have you done any competitions like this before? Uh, not like the, well, IMBA. I've just come out of IMBA a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, been prepping for that. Yeah. This is my reward. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think you'll go today? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy just to just get the experience and meet some great girls and um, yeah. This I'm here with Cassandra. She's our very last contestant for today. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really good, really confident, excited. And how do you feel about competing today? Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, all the girls at stage have been lovely, so yeah, really excited. Well, thank you for that. We wish everyone all the best for this, and we'll see everyone on the stage shortly. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> so ladies, what do you think of the talent so far? Look, as per show, there's always a great amount of talent that turns up. So it's always hard for the judges to actually tally things up and, and give points because, you, as you can see, we look at the contestants individually rather than as a group. So when we do the point scoring, it's hard, but it's also easy because you can also pinpoint different things when the girls are, are walking down the stage. I mean, what do you think so far? Oh, um, you know, there's such a broad range of girls in here. Like we've got a grandma to like, <laughs> uni students, and it's just amazing. You know, everyone's 
it's just re it's really tough being Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say is yeah. that I just yeah I'm go with my gut instinct and yeah just put down whatever number that I feel I need to put down. But it's yeah definitely challenging. Definitely, mm. and a standard is quite it's quite good. So we're pretty lucky here tonight, I think. I know. Definitely. Considering the amount of girls that are up there, there is fifteen a girls. Lot. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Exactly. So the caliber is quite good. What did you think, Anna? Yeah. It's been really tough. It's tough to judge. I think uh, I'm going on. Um, according to us, cheat, you know, um, what we're looking for um, and trying to judge um, each girl as best as I can um, to try and give a good score in amongst all the whole group mm. that we have. Having the girls in the in the royal, like just one colour bikini, yeah. do you think it makes it easier Definitely. to judge? Yes. Definitely. So? Yeah. Yeah. Same colour, the tan's always the same as well, thanks to exactly. the sponsor, so it, it looks good. Yeah, yeah. You can, um, the symmetry is easier to judge yeah. and the tone having the same bikini yeah, yeah. and because the cuts are, the cuts the same on everyone so it just mm. I, I just feel it does make it easier when you're doing the point scoring system to, it does, it does. to be able to do it and I like you know how they answering the questions as well that gives us a really good idea of who they are why they're here yeah you know yeah. And what's what's in their mind you know yeah. and whether they enjoy this exactly we we'll wait till the next round because they all come out in their cocktail wear mm. and this is where they actually start to shine because they've yeah. come out in their bikini and they start to warm up to the idea that you know it's not so bad up there so and they're covered this time around and they can actually portray who they really are so yeah. it's going to be quite interesting for the next round yeah welcome back to round two let's see what the girls are wearing in their cocktail dresses
much did you ladies think of the cocktail rounds? Look, it's always an interesting round. Um, I always find that the women, of the competitors, always look um, completely different to the bikini round because they're able to, you know, shine in what they, what to choose their um, personality. But I do get disappointed when I see sh little short dresses when they have been asked to wear either 15 centimetres above the knee and longer, only because they come out in such beautiful dresses too. And I just find that if they can't follow the criteria, it just gets a little bit sad for me because they, they do look amazing, but then we, we can't score them because they've got the wrong dress on. So um, competitors coming to the next extravaganza, please make sure that your dress is 15 centimetres above the knee and longer. And I always say to the girls, don't wear a clingy dress if it's short because it will ride up. So what did you think, Kim? Oh, same thing. I was really disappointed because there was some, you know, gorgeous girls in there, mm. and they immediately lost ten points because of their dress. And yeah, yeah, definitely. And as Anna said, it's a completely different look. They look different to the bikini, so it's just it's fabulous to see. It's a good variety of dresses, and and Dana's taking some notes on the dresses. I sure have. Shop online. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's yeah. I'll, I'll say as well. It's a bit disappointing about the dresses, but. They're still pretty dresses. Yeah, they looked amazing. Yeah. Jana, what did you think? Yeah, I can't really add any more to <laughs> what you've already said. Um, I think it, I still think that they all chosen a good dress for themselves. Yeah. You know, I think everyone tried to pick a dress that would suit them and um, make them well presented and shine on stage. So, despite the fact that some of them have lost the points, I hope that will not uh, affect the scores. Yeah, the presentation was still really good. Yeah, so. it was great. It was great. But un unfortunately, one of the big things about the dresses is to make sure that they follow a criteria. So that's yeah. why they've been given a criteria to follow. And if it doesn't, if it's not followed, then exactly. uh, you know, you've got to go by the rules. So anyway, we'll see who's, who's going to be placing in the top five. So we're now up to the final round. The top five qualify for the International Extravaganza and as well as receive a Nutrition Warehouse Sponsorship Pack. The top three win a one-way airfare to the International Final as well as a one-month unlimited training pass to Evolution MMA Fitness Gym. So in no particular order, here are the top five. One of the places are Elise. And in no particular order, Morgan. Next we have Jessica. And now for the last two, for the top five, Ellen. And Marina. I just wanted to thank everyone once again. I really appreciate your support and we're looking forward to the girls who are coming to the International in the Gold Coast. It's going to be an amazing event. You can enter other extravaganzas in other states if you want to, completely up to you, but they are booking out very quickly. 
So, once again, thank you all. And when Bikini Models Inc. TV, this should be out in the next couple of weeks, right, Al? Yeah. Can you get that thing off me, man? <laughs> <laughs>